chips back in April, I think it was. And then what do you do with Chasseur? Two years off, but you've looked at the trials. Yeah, the trial's only fair. It's a Waller runner. I think it's gelded as well. Watch the market. I think yeah, she's the only so. you can do. Have a look at the mounting yard. The market's just drifting a tiny bit, I think, in early markets, which is not a good sign after such a long break. Yep. We'll see what happens in the 15 minutes before race, race time on Saturday. Let's have a look at the second leg of the quaddy and see how this 1,400 metre race lines up. Benchmark 70 out again. A fair tempo this time. We've got some slower tempos later in the day. Edge off and definitely coming out wide late in the day, including race seven. All right, keep your eyes out for those conditions. Let's have a look at the market now for the second leg of the quaddy at Royal Ramwick. And that last start when a man of peace. $4 here, gets the run, scratch from the other race. Metamorphic, we'll have a look at this horse a little bit later, $4.40. Chapelco, really solid on pacer here, $6. Chasseur, there's that question mark, isn't it? $6 after two years. Pianissimo out to $9. Most exalted down from Queensland, $10. But a couple at the top of the market here, Mike, Man of Peace and Metamorphic. Yeah, really interesting race, really interesting market that could change a lot on Saturday based on our analysis, which you'll see soon. Let's have a look at one of those favourites last start, Chapelco, who two starts ago was so good with the bias against. He was stuck against the rail at Kensington and only just got beaten. This start, there wasn't any bias. He led and he was really, really strong, just kept, kept going. But the thing about this horse, if he was about 10 metres to his left right now on the main Royal Ramwick track, he might have knocked up. His starts at Royal Ramwick when it's not a very firm track are terrible. Fifth of five when $2.50 beaten 15 lengths. Next time, 11th of 11 beaten 31 lengths. The only decent Royal Ramwick start was on a very, very firm track when he only came Force. You're telling us he's not a Ramwick horse, Mike? I'm telling you he's a big, strong type that might struggle up that rise. You're all right. right. <laughs> well, that is key factors. We've got to have a look at all that. Let's have a look at the Queensland visitor now. Most exalted. Now, this run, Mike, I didn't mind it. It was back on the inside, but I tell you what, it was on the heels here, and it's going well. Yeah, he's a Queens... Oh, he's coming down from Queensland, but he's a Mudgy horse, isn't he? He used to be one of the Sydney Sydney classy stables yep. had him, but then he went to Mudgy to go into the provincial championships, didn't quite make it. Up to Brisbane, racing first up. He was wide on the turn, finished off really well. Second up, held up, tightened, racing keenly mid-race and finished off really well, Stu. Yeah, love the last 50 metres here. More importantly, a big gap back to third. That's a look at most exalted. We've had a look at a few of the runners there, Mike. Let's kick it off now. All the form and all the key factors for this second leg of the quaddy. Yeah, we talked about the market maybe being turned on its head. Looking across the page, Pianissimo gets the best form rating based on the weights. He's way down on the weights. All right, form for one of the ones that value Penisimo around that $9 mark. Let's see if he can hold that up into the key factors, progression. Interestingly, there's always gold pass for progression, <laughs> but not here. Keller's choice first up, we're not so sure. Most of them second, third, fourth up can hold their mark. Okay, what about some gold for distance? Yeah, up to 1,400 metres with a bit more tempo. Most exalted should really enjoy it. Okay, so there's most exalted levelling up with Pianissimo there. Track conditions, back to the dry surface for a few of these. Yeah, we're keeping with the singular gold bars. Gatan loves Royal Ramy, but nothing else moving there. Okay, position in run, does this help us? Not much. Metamorphic <laughs> Another drawn, single goal. drawn nicely to settle midfield, <laughs> but most of these horses holding their mark from the form rating earlier. All right, I can ha tell from this, Mike, there's only been a couple of gold bars through there, and I'll tell you what, not many of them for the favourite. Let's have a look now at the ratings here, because I can smell a lot of value in this <laughs> race. Pianissimo has been in front from pretty much the word go, Mike. Most, most exalted right there as well both around that $9, $10 mark. That's clearly the way we're going to be playing here, but a little bit of a risk around a few of the favourites here. Yeah, big risk. Chapelco, we think he'll knock up. We think Metamorphic just wants a really, really dry track. And we think those top two don't always win, but they're great each way. But it's most exalted and Pianissimo. They can settle back in the pack. They can peel to the outside. They can both storm home. And Pianissimo's weight way down on 52. He's going to be so hard to beat. All right, so plenty of value there for the second leg of the quaddy, 9 and $10. Thank you very much. Stick around. We'll wrap up legs three and four after the break at Royal Ramwick.